Hey guys, this is Richie and we are back. Um, I did have a Telecaster video planned for this week. Um, but something kind of come up uh, after I put that post out um, revolving my Leslie. Um, this is a Leslie 16, um, which we are going to get inside in a minute. And um, I bought a replacement speaker for it. You know, speaking to a couple of my good friends, close friends that I regard, you know, we all know how I am with Nick. Um, you know, he, he knows his shit, simple as that, you know? So if I'm ever stuck, he always helps me out, always. He's, you know, we've got a good relationship and he, he always points me in the direction that, that I need to go. So anyway, I um, presumed it was a Leslie 16, which it is, after looking at it, and I thought it'd be a 10 inch speaker inside. So I went ahead and bought a 10 inch speaker, opened it up yesterday evening to find out that the hole had been cut for a 12, um, which was a little disheartening. Obviously, because ordering the speaker, etc. Um, so I was like, "Ah, oh, this this is a nightmare. I'm going to um, I'm going to have to send the speaker back and then get a replacement speaker and blah blah blah." And then I remembered that I'd had a cab upstairs that had 12s in it. So what we're going to do this week is we're going to do something that wasn't planned. We're going to open up the Leslie 16. We're going to get inside it and we're going to replace the 12-inch speaker. And I'm going to give you an honest opinion on what I think a speaker does and if it, you know, if I can noticeably hear any difference. The speaker that was in it looks to be quite an old one. The one that's going to go in it is a Celestian Greenback. Um, so yeah, we are going to get into it. We're going to change the speaker. I'm going to show you the insides of the Leslie, show you the workings. Uh, and then I'm going to play through some tones using the Leslie on both speeds and, um, and give you an honest opinion of what I think there is done. Let's get into it. Okay. Okay, right. We have got um, Leslie out. Uh, I've got an old cab here. This is an old Sand Dune cab with 212 and it's Celestians. And then I've also got a two rock up here. Um, we've just battled with this for a little while and unfortunately we couldn't get the right Allen key to get into it to open up the speaker. But on closer inspection, that's a 30, 30 watt speaker anyway. And the two rock has a 60, a 65 or 75 watt speaker cream back in it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the two rock speaker out now um, and then we are going to open this up and we're going to put the, the speaker from there into the Leslie so effectively we'll have a, uh, a bigger speaker with bigger headroom that should get less mushy. Um, so we're going to get into it and we're going to try and do it. Let's see if we can get it open. Okay. The, I opened this up last night, so it's going to be a bit quicker, and I've just quickly assembled the screws back in. My dad's going to take the back off there. We might have a bit of soldering to, to do, but it should all be very simple stuff. It's just a speaker swap, which uh, isn't nothing too scary, so we can get into it. I'm actually quite glad that um, I just spoke to Nick on the on on the phone and he was like, well, if you're gonna put the 35 watt speaker in it, you're not really doing anything different. You're just swapping a lower wattage speaker, which was in it for another lower wattage speaker. So, um, the two rock has a bigger wattage speaker, which is gonna give me that headroom on one. So it shouldn't get as mushy as perhaps as the lower wattage one did. Um, I mean, we shall see. How it handles it. The speaker coming out of the two rock is a good speaker. It's a cream back. I really like those speakers. Um, and the two rock does give good tone. Uh, and this is only until my EV speaker comes back or um, I get another, probably an uh, Eminence or an EM uh, 12 to go in there. I don't want to take the speaker out of the two rock and it's not going to be in here forever. It's just for the purpose of this video and seeing if it does make a big difference having the bigger headroom speaker um, in the Leslie. Okay, so we're almost in there now. Almost open. The Leslie is a little bit awkward. I've got a bit of work doing there on the power anyway, um, because the power cable's come loose. But uh, and it's also quite awkward to um, to open at points. It is worth noting as well that um, I've always usually been scared to get inside old gear, but 
since I've kind of, since I have, I'm like, I've had a talk, you know, with Nick, and he's gone to me for a lot of things, and looked on forums and reading a lot. There's a lot of stuff out there on the internet that you can kind of learn from if you want to. Um, but yeah, once I've opened these things up and got into them, I've actually learned a lot more about the tools that I'm using. You know, I put a lot of time into guitar playing and learning rather than perhaps the tools I was using. So now I'm starting to learn about the tools I was using. So this is the inside. Um, I'm going to take this out, which is the old one. I've already snipped the wires there. And uh, we are going to take the two rock speaker out now from the back and just watch out the way I'm in it, pops. So inside here, yeah, there's the Celestion G12 amp. Um, 65 watts. So we're going to take that out and we are going to get that into the Leslie. Alright guys, we've got the we've got the speaker at the two rock. So we got there is the Celestium uh, cream back. This is a 65 watt G12M. Um, this is a great speaker. I really like this speaker. And we have got the speaker out of the uh, Leslie, which just gives me a little 8 ohm badge up there. And that's about it. It's got a big magnet on the back, but um, apart from that, there's very little else on there, so maybe somebody could help me date that. It's got a code actually P4643 5. Um, any speaker guys out there who know what that is, you know, be interesting to uh, hear your opinions. And what we're going to do is we're going to get into the Leslie now we got it open. Uh, this should be a fairly straightforward swap. I don't know if you've ever seen inside of Leslie, so got a rope there. This is your bath on the middle, and that's like a rotating theatre styrofoam. So just basically, depending on your speed, warbles the sound, or makes it coral. Kind of really easy um, effect, but really, um, really effective. Uh, so what we're going to do is we are going to sort get this fixed in, fix the wires up, close it up. I've got a little bit of work there to do down here on the power. Uh, a bit of the power cable has come away by the looks of it. Uh, get it all in position and then get the vibro verb in it, power in it. Um, I might even try the two rock power in it as well and um, see if that bigger headroom in the speaker really makes a lot of difference. Okay, let's do it. Okay guys, we've got it into position and um, hopefully all fixed. Uh, I want to keep this pure and honest so we're going to see if it works together. Um, we're going to put it on, Dad's going to plug in the uh, Leslie and we're going to see if it works. Let's have a look. Right, okay, pops.
Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed that clip. Um, what I think, I think that the the bigger speaker, the newer speaker, the more efficient speaker, is gives you a bigger range, you know, a bigger range of sound. Um, I would like to have known what a 10 would sound like, to be honest, you know, but bigger is better. It's usually the way, right? So the new 12's in it, the greenback's in it, you know, I ran it with a fuzz face powered by the Vibro, getting, you know, the Iva fuzz face. Um, check on my Instagram page soon, because I got some pretty exciting news coming about the old Iva fuzz face, uh, working alongside Dustin, so yeah, make sure to check back. Um, but yeah, I think the more efficient speaker, the newer speaker, um, gives a better sound. I can really hear the, 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 the Leslie working and doing what it does. Um, where if you've never had one, or you've never experienced one in the room, it, it's something very special. Really hard to capture on mic. Uh, you know, you need to, you need to really stereo mic it and one in front to capture that sound. I've just room mic'd it. Um, so maybe you can pick it up, maybe you can't. Um, I ain't using the crossover cable. I'm just going straight from the back of the vibro verb into some some kind of thing that was made with it that can plug directly in, powered from the vibro. Uh, it's a lethal concoction and I really, really like it. Um, so yeah, like I said, next week, um, I'm hoping to get into the, you know, boutique amps making them sound old. Uh, it is worth noting I tried the two rock out earlier and it's not a black face. That's all I'm going to say. We'll touch on it next week, okay? So, yeah, tune in, like, subscribe, and share where you can. Thank you so much for your time. You know, uh, I'm really enjoying making these videos, and I can't wait to do more. I'm Richie. This is Fred Junkies. Peace.